Hello, hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Bien, teacher. Teacher, mire, no estoy en mi casa. ¿Será que ah. me puedo conectar solo al oyente? Ok, de acuerdo. De acuerdo, lo vamos a tener ahí como oyente, Luis. Gracias. Hello, Cesar, how are you? Hello, how are you, teacher? ¿Cómo estamos, Cesar? Bien, aquí ensayando con Duolingo. ¿Ensayando? Sí. ¿Eh? ¿Qué está ensayando? No le alcanza a escuchar. Duolingo. Ah, con ya, Duolingo. Ya Muy bien, excelente. Es que ya bueno, hay una palabra. Bueno, yo la intenté usar para otro idioma. Sí, la sentí bastante cómoda. A mí me gusta porque es una es gratis y a la misma vez hay palabras que uno no las entiende todavía y las pueden aprender. Solo que creo que hay una, creo que ya cuando uno va avanzando, no estoy muy segura porque solo la utilicé algunos días, pero no recuerdo si este, hay unas opciones de paga, ¿no? ¿De pago? Ajá. <ríe> bueno, no sé, quizás porque voy comenzando, es que acabo de encontrar en la computadora. <ríe> y, y ahorita no la tienen en el celular todavía. No, en el celular quizás es de pago. Sí, porque hay en celular, bueno, en la computadora, si no, nunca la intenté utilizar. Ah, ah, ahorita, ahorita sí, solamente en ese ratito estaba. Había una palabra que no la, no, no la había entendido, hasta hoy la conocí. <ríe> Decía. No, pero es muy leche. bueno, es muy bueno. También hay unas, este, hay, hay varias aplicaciones que puedo utilizar. Esta una de, pero, eh, Agenda Web, es una que le da bastante vocabulario ejercicio, son de varios niveles. Pero va que pero va que es de Duolingo solamente son palabras, va. No le escuché. Porque yo solo con palabras me encontraba. Que solo si la con de palabras. Duolingo, es solo palabras. Casi no le escuché. Okay. <risa> que Duolingo solo es palabras. Solo es palabras. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, también ya he visto que es bien amigable, entonces. Ahora voy a sentar ya porque me tocó trabajar 24 horas. Ok, ok, de acuerdo. Super. Ya casi iniciamos. Lo esperamos ahí que se conecten los demás. Sí, es una pregunta, ¿me escuchan bien? Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Vale, perfecto. Eh, si se escucha cortado, me avisan porque hoy estoy utilizando otra computadora, la mía. No le pasó un accidente. <risa> pero, pero ya que el lunes ya la tengamos de nuevo. Bien, um, just let me share with you, permítame unos segunditos mientras eh, nos preparamos aquí con algunos detalles y arrancamos. Pero cuéntenme cómo les ha ido en el día. ¿Todo bien? Pesadísimo. Pesadísimo. ¿Y el tráfico? Eh, no he pasado, pero ya casi no veo en la noche y me toca venirme bien despacio. Sí, es que, bueno, pero, bueno, es que sí es difícil manejar de noche, eso sí es cierto. Sí. Cuesta sí. manejar de noche, no es sí. lo mismo como en el día, uno se agota bastante. Sí, y las calles que no están iluminadas también, y los baches que no colaboran. <risa> no, pero es bien peligroso, es bien peligroso, porque sí. donde no hay iluminación, ahí... Ahí está el bache. Ahí está el bache y pues no, y le puede pasar cualquier cosa a uno, ¿no? Sí, sí es bien complicado. Sí. Ahí sí lo entiendo. Bien, vamos. Sí, no, la noche sí es quizás lo más correcto es manejar despacio porque hasta a mí me da miedo a veces. Es cuando no, está, no hay nada de iluminación en la calle. Es bien terrible. Así que tengan cuidado, si manejan de noche, despacito mejor. Mejor despacio que rápido porque... 
si no le puedo mejor decir. Tarde. Sí, no, es que ahí sí aplica, la verdad sí aplica. <laughs> aplica. Ok, um, listen, for this class, guys, uh, we're going to start studying um, prepositions of place. Ya estudiamos, estuvimos estudiando un poco de las preposiciones de tiempo, con in, on y at. Espero que hayamos un poco eh, aprendido de ella. Ahora vamos a estudiarlas como preposiciones del lugar. Y para ello vamos a desglosar un poco el punto principal acá. Is that uh, you're going to be able to give uh, directions or addresses. Entonces acá lo importante es que van a dar direcciones. But I'm going to teach you uh, how to use them with some other words or locations. Pero también las vamos a aprender a utilizar con otras palabras o vamos a, a comprender cómo aplicarlas en diferentes eh, contextos, así como lo vimos las de tiempo. So let's start. So we're going to start with some vocabulary. We have free task vocabulary, corner, neighborhood, avenue, street, city hall, and restaurant. Again, corner, neighborhood, avenue, street, city hall, and restaurant. Let's see, can you repeat it again, please? Corner, so the first corner. one, corner. Second one, neighborhood. Neighborhood. Second neighborhood. One. So neighborhood. 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 Avenue. Avenue. Street. 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 City hall. Street. City hall. And restaurant. Restaurant. Mm -hmm. Restaurant. Again. Corner, neighborhood, avenue, street, city hall, and restaurant. Okay, questions about this vocabulary. What is a corner? So what is a corner? Ideas, corner. Esquina. La esquina, right? Neighborhood. Vecindario. El vecindario. Avenue. Clear, right? Avenue. Calle, avenida. La avenida, verdad? Street. Calle. City hall. La, it's a building. The city hall is la, la alcaldía. La, la alcaldía, right? And the restaurant. Okay, la alcaldía, city hall. Okay, la alcaldía. Okay, so let's try to match that vocabulary and that pictures with the words um, from one to five. Interview, interview or interview, prepositions of time, and scramble, guess, and paragraph. So what is an interview? What is an interview? Tell me. Entrevista. Mm -hmm. And do you get nervous when you go to an interview, guys? Do you get nervous or do you feel nervous when you go to an interview? Yes, we yes. says yes. But do you prepare for your interviews? Mm. So, so. <laughs> Más o menos. Sometimes. Yes or no? Do you prepare for your interviews, Wilfredo? I'm not. You don't know. Más o menos. No. Se prepara. No. Oh, Más o menos. I, I do, uh, so you, you only investigate a little. Okay, so that's key, right? Um, prepositions of time. So what are the prepositions that we have studied? ¿Cuáles son las que hemos estudiado? Perfect, unscramble. What's the word unscramble? Decifrar. Decifrar, right? Guess, how about guess? Creer. Mm -hmm. Guess this one. Creer? No. No. So. Um, A pista? No lo sé. Um, yes, you have to guess. For example, I'm thinking about a word and you have to make a guess. Estoy pensando en una palabra. You have to make a guess. Tienen que adivinar. So you have to make a guess. Mm -hmm. Guess. So don't say, uh -huh, guess. 
guess. Mm -hmm. Guess. So that's guess. Don't say guess, right? Guess. Guess. How do you pronounce this? Guess. Guess. Yes. Guess. Okay. Paragraph. And a paragraph. What's a paragraph? Paragraph. Un paragraph, right? Perfect. So if you don't know some of these words, you may take some notes. Okay. Tomen algunas notas si no conocen alguna palabra. So let's continue. Answer the following question. So we're gonna have one question. So tell me, what's in your pocket? What is in your pocket? I want to know what is in your pocket. There is, for example, a money in my pocket. So let's think about some things. That is money. Very in 45. 40, okay. There are 45 cents, for example. So what can we find in your pocket? Tell me, Wilfredo, what's in your pocket? Que hay en su? So what's a pocket? What's a pocket? In my pocket, nothing. Nothing. Bolsillo. <laughs> Aha, el bolsillo, okay. Nothing, there is nothing in my pocket. Let's see, Jessica, what is in your pocket? Nothing, money, what if uh, something, a penny, for example. Centavos, I don't know. Yes, <laughs> I don't know. Got it? Money. A little money. bit cotton. <laughs> Cut <'em. laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, there is cotton in my pocket. What else? These are, what do you have in your pocket? Uh, my, my cell. Your cell phone, right? Yes. Uh-huh, there is a cell phone in my pocket. Okay, nice. Let's see, who else? I haven't asked uh, Eduardo. Hi, Eduardo, what's in your pocket? Tell me. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. What is in your pocket? Tell me. Uh, Nothing. <laughs> money. Money. Okay. Money. <laughs> A esta hora ya no ando nada. <laughs> Ahora ya está hecho. Hasta mañana. Let's see. So now let's investigate a little bit more about your bag or your backpack. So what is in your bag or backpack? So try to give me a description. There is a- There is a is, wallet. There is a wallet in my bag, okay. So when do I use there is and there are? There is a singular and there are a plural. Mm -hmm. Singular, the meaning Spanish? I. Okay. There are? Plural, the meaning? Aye. 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 Right? Okay, perfect. So tell me, Karen, what is in your bag? There is a wallet, there are keys. Mm. And on the, only keys. And keys. Yes. How about makeup? No? No, no. Money? Maybe. Maybe a little bit pennies. <laughs> okay. Mm, let's see. How about you, Wilfredo? Tell me. Um, so what is in your backpack? Okay. There is oh, no. a cell phone there in is, my backpack. There is cell phone in my back. What else? Backpack, what? right? So this is a bag and this is a backpack. So what else? Uh huh. There is a cell phone in the back, but only. Only that. Yes. Wow. I remember that I used to see some people uh, carrying a backpack to school or work, and it didn't contain anything. I don't know what they. Well, my 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 let's say classmates 
used to do it. They they have they carry an empty bag, but I don't know what do they, what do they do with that. Let's see. Uh, how about you, Caesar? What is in your backpack? There is a <laughs> computer in my in my backpack. What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Um, um, lente, lentes. Okay, glasses. Glasses. Um, a MacBook. A book, okay. And um, um, nothing. So. Just that, okay. Just that. How about you? Let's see, uh, Mirna. Tell me, Mirna. You there, Mirna? Um. What is in your bag? Or backpack. There is um glass, uh, papel, okay, documentos, okay, documents. What else? Documents. Pencil. Pencils. Okay. Money. Money, okay, money. Tarjeta, no sé. Credit card? Eh, Domésticos. Credit card, no? Ah, ah sí, credit card. Okay. <coughs> uh, como los documentos de... Your ID? El, no sé. ID? ID, correcto. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Nice, mira. Virginia, tell me what is in your bag. <laughs> Um, there is because uh -huh. makeup. makeup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is makeup. Um, what else? Come on, come on. A towel. A towel. Okay. So you can say also cosmetics, cosmetics. Okay, nice, interesting. So let's continue. I need to get more information about you. Sonia, tell me what is in your back, your backpack. There is um, a tablet. Okay. In my there. bag. Um, and morning, and lunch. Lunch. See, sí, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the lunch is still in my bag. <laughs> wow, you have to eat your lunch. <laughs> my galletitas. Okay. Yes. Snacks. Fruit. Probably snacks. Snack, fruits. Apple. Snack, fruits. Interesting. Well, we have discovered that ladies carry more things than, than men, right? Nosotros siempre andamos muchas cosas. Los chicos, no sé qué andan llevando, yo que siempre andan en la mochila vacía. I don't know if you have noticed that. No sé si ya dieron cuenta. Nada. Nada. <laughs> Just a backpack. Solo por andarla. I think so. Yeah, I think so. So tell me now. I want you to give me a description about your desk. What is on your desk? In this moment or in my office? Mm, well, that uh, that's up to you. Tell me about your office. So what is on your desk? Okay, and this moment only my my laptop and mm -hmm. my mouse. Oh, okay. Only that. There is a laptop on there my desk. Is, uh, what else? There is a mouse. Mouse on my desk. Notebook. Okay, and there is a notebook. Pen. And what else? And my pen. Okay. And there is a pen. Perfect. How about you? Let's see. Tell me, Karen. So what is on your desk? Uh, the the laptop, the printer, mm -hmm. the meter, 
some pencil, pens, rulers, scissors, um, clips. Okay. Well, you have a lot of things on your desk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you yes. use all of them? Yes. Okay. Do you file documents? No? Ah, yes, there are some files, um, some Books? documents. Books? Two. Yeah. Books. Yes. Too. Okay, nice. Cesar, tell us. So, what's on your desk? Oh, uh, there is a mango. <laughs> okay. A mango? Yes. Okay. Mango? Mango? No uh, mango anymore. <laughs> mango? <laughs> <laughs> um, your lampara? A lamp? A lamp. Um, your uh, pencil. Um, your book. Okay, a book. A book and yeah. so do I... just that. Okay, nice. How about you, Sonia? Tell us. Share with us. So what is on your desk? Um, my tablet, a uh, pencil, book, um, document. Okay. Only that. Uh, only that. Okay. <coughs> Do you have a toy? I don't know something like that. <laughs> Jessica, tell us, Jessica, what's on your desk? So what do you have? What do you normally use? at work or at home? Um, there is a lab a computer. Mm -hmm. Computer? Uh, computer? Okay. Computer. There is a pen. Uh, there is some, no sé si sería, there is some money. There is money. Mm -hmm. There is money. Ahí no le vamos a poner el artículo. There is money. Okay. Uh, there is a document. Okay. Nice. How about you? Let's see. Um, Ileana, tell us, Ileana. You driving, Ileana? Coach, I am working right now. Okay. I am listening. <laughs> okay. So you're a listener. Listener. Thank you. Um, Omar, tell us, Omar. So describe, describe what's on your desk. Okay, there is a laptop, there is a notebook, there is a, a books, there are a books. books. Uh -huh. sorry. Sorry. And, uh, there is a extra monitor to work in, uh, to work, to realize homework um, of the university. Uh, okay. There is a, a uh, mouse is a uh, pencil. Huh? Okay, pencil, pencil. Okay, thank you guys. So now let's continue. So that's very clear. I think we will have problems with this. So tell me, where is the car? Any idea where is the car? Yes, the red. Where is the red car? Where is it? Next to bed. Okay, it is next to the bed. Any other possibility? Oh, I need to it's on the floor. It's on the floor, okay. The car is on the floor. How about, let's see, the poster. Where is the poster? This poster. Up the bed. The poster. The poster is up the bed. Up the bed, above. So I'll say above. The bed. Or the poster is on the wall, right? Está sobre la pared. Sobre la pared, right? So how yeah. about, let's see, um, the la, um, well, the teddy bear. Where is the teddy bear? Mm, 
And that teddy bear, where is it? Um, is next to the bed. It's next to the bed or on the? On the floor. On the floor, right? Okay, nice. So tell me about the TV. Where is that TV? The TV is yeah. under the oh, oh, the desk. Yeah, the TV is on the table. It's on the table. How about the toys a box? So where the, is? Uh -huh. The toys box is under the desk. The toys box is under the desk. Desk. Okay, perfect. About the books. There are some books. What do you think about the books? What are the books? Is the books is next to the trophy? The books. Yes. They do. Is or are? Are are are. Mm -hmm. are trophy. The tro trophy. Mm -hmm. The books are next to the trophy. Okay. Excellent. So now let's continue. I'm going to show you more examples. The books are up the other possibility. Mm, next to the trophy on the shelf. So it could be another one. The books up. are on the shelf. Up the TV. Shelf. The books are the book and under TV. There are about under the TV. There are two sets of books, I think. Yes. I don't know if they are numbers, but they are there. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so we're going to start learning a little bit about this. And um, we're going to try to make some relations. Can you read the definition, please, Karen? Prepositions. Preposition of place are used to show the proposition or location, no, the position or location of the one thing in the relation to another. Mm -hmm. Where is the teacher? Uh -huh. Where is the teacher? So look at this. We have some examples, but we're going to analyze first this information in as a preposition of place. Remember that we're studying these prepositions in order to talk about some places, right? Are used to show important word, that position, right? Position or location of one thing in relation to another. Okay, vamos a utilizarlas para mostrar que la posición o ubicación de una cosa en relación a la otra. In, for example, can you read the examples, Wilfredo? In. Where is the teacher? In the back, in the classroom, in a box. Mm -hmm. So in, when we talk about a 3D space, we're talking about, for example, a box, a bag, a backpack. So what else could be a 3D space? In the classroom. In the classroom. House. Okay, in the house. In the office. What else? In the kitchen. In the living room. In the small. In the bedroom. So when we talk about 3D spaces, we're talking about spaces, uh, the limited, by some, let's say, by the, um, by the matters or the length of the, of the room, right? Entonces, estamos hablando que los espacios 3D podrían ser los espacios delimitados, ¿verdad? Ya sean las dimensiones que ocupa una, un cuarto, una habitación, una oficina. Okay, so let's check the, um, the examples. Where is the teacher? The question is, where is the teacher? Where is the teacher? 
the teacher is in the classroom. In the classroom. In the classroom. Okay. How about the doctor? Where is the doctor or the patient? In the office. In the office, okay. At the doctor's office or in the office. How about where is the president? Any idea? So it could be an office. The White House. In the White House, okay. Where is the cat? In, in, in the, the box. box. In the box, right? So the cat is looking at you. If you answer correctly, it'll be happy. Let's see. Questions so far? Questions? No questions? No. No. Okay, so let's continue with the next one. So we continue with in. Seguimos con in. Um, please, Wilfredo, help us with this one. The uses. Uh, this, this is, uh -huh. territory. Ah, territory in London, in Europe, in the out in the world. Mm -hmm. So it means that we're going to use uh, in for countries and countries, oh. countries, cities, okay, so now tell me where is Bicentenario Park? Oh. Play. Mm -hmm. Where is Bicentenario Park? Um, I'll give you a clue. Okay. Where is Bicentenario Park? It is in in Santa Tecla. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm not so sure if that is San Salvador or Santa Tecla. The middle is in San Salvador and the middle in Santa Tecla. <laughs> okay, so it is. Yeah. Well, in that case, we need to modify this, right? Yes. Bicentenario está allá en Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not so sure, but I would say if that is true, we can say it is between, right? Between. Between La Libertad and San Salvador. <laughs> Between La Libertad and San Salvador. So what's the other neighborhood? Escalón, I don't know. It's between La Libertad and San Salvador. Just in case. Okay, so let's see if I have another question. Okay, tell me, where is Planes de Renderos? Or where is Parque Balboa? Where is Parque Balboa? Or Balboa Park? Where is Balboa Park? It, there is in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. It is in San Salvador, right? It is in San Salvador or, so what's the, um, the place? where this um, park is located. ¿Cómo se llama el lugar, el municipio donde está ubicado? San Chiraco. Uh -huh. Balboa Park is? San Marcos and San Salvador. San Marcos Wikipedia. and San Salvador. Okay. Yeah, Wikipedia say this. Okay, how about this one? Do you know this house? Do you know this house? In the beach, in La Puntilla. In La Puntilla. Mm -hmm. So the house is located in La Puntilla or in La Paz, right? Okay. So now let's continue with the next one. We have um, the next preposition is on. And when do we use on? Sonia, please help us reading the first usage on a surface. On the table, on the carpet, on the roof, on the sofa, floor, on the first floor, on floor, the 
floor. On the fifth floor. Right listen on the right. On the left. Uh, public tran transport. On the bus, on the train, on a plane, on the radio, on TV. Mm -hmm. So look at this. Uh, whenever we have a surface, we use on, on the table, on the carpet, on the roof, on the sofa, right? Cuando hablamos de superficie, vamos a utilizar on, on the table, on a carpet, on a roof, on el techo, on el sobre el sofá. Uh, when we talk about floors, too, on the first floor, so check correct the spelling on the fifth floor. También cuando hablamos de los pisos de un edificio, on the first floor, on the second floor, on the um, third floor, so we use on, right? And we also use um, on with the words right and left, on the right, on the left, we also use it with public transportation on the bus, on the train, on a plane. So we have to memorize this, right? So that depends. In some occasions, you can talk about in, but when you're in that space, right? In that enclosed space. In that case, you will probably use in, right? Uh, media, uh, social media on the radio, on the TV, on TV, on the internet, on a website. Okay, questions so far about these questions. So what we have to do here is to memorize this, right? For example, where is that TV? Do you like music? Where do you listen to music? Okay, so where is that TV? Tell me, we already practiced on it. On the table. <laughs> On the table? You sure? No. No, right? It's on the wall. It's on the wall. So how about music? Well, I know that nowadays we don't use uh, radios, but what other social media do you use in order to listen to music? Where do you listen to music? On? On Spotify. <laughs> On the YouTube. On YouTube. YouTube. On YouTube. YouTube. On YouTube. Okay. On the cell phone. Mm -hmm. On your cell phone. Well, when we talk about this media, we talk about the, yeah, we talk about the, the radio, the TV, the internet, the cell phone. Uh, where are these people? Where are these people? Is in this picture on the bus on the bus right on the bus. so do you remember the song the wheels of the bus go around <laughs> okay so on the bus right la 90. La 90. 91. No. <laughs> no, i don't know about that route. no 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 it's wow. uh, la 29 La 29. <laughs> on, on 29 route, right? And, and don't forget this, we use it with left and right too. Well, in this case, we have to memorize these uh, words, but I'm going to show you a complete list later on. So I'm just giving you some information. And at, please, uh, let's see, Jessica, help me with this one, at. So where are you, Jessica? Let's see, Omar, please help us, Omar, at. Sí. Uh, preposition to place are used to show the position or location of one's things in their relation to another. Where is the cat? Mm -hmm. Read them. Um, the preposition and the words, <laughs> the uses. At a point. Continue, Mark. Uh -huh. Continue, okay. the usages. Okay. At the, 
Uh, okay, thank you. Sorry. Continue, don't worry, continue. At the point, uh, read the examples and the usages. Creo que no tiene buena señal. No me escucha. Okay. A mí o Omar. Omar, creo que no tiene buena señal. Pensé que yo era de que no le escuchaba. Ok. Uh, Jessica, please help me, Jessica. At. At a point. At the door. At, at the door. The door. At the crossroads. At the crossroads. At the traffic light. At those. Mm, at the traffic light. At the top. At uh, the bottom. Top, bottom, and up. Mm -hmm. At the top of the stairs. Okay. At the bottom of the page. At the end of the street, group activities. Mm -hmm. At a party, at a concert, at the cinema, school, university. At the school, at university. University? University, home, work. At home, at work. Shops, at the bakery. A bakery, a uh -huh. bakery. Cafe. 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 Okay. So let's check it again at a point. So we use at for specific points at the door, at the crossroads, in el cruce, right? In la puerta, in el cruce, at the traffic light, in el semáforo, at the top of the stairs, arriba de las gradas, right? At the bottom of the page. So what's bottom? Al final de, de la página, right? At the bottom. At the end of the street, al final de la calle. Uh, we also use it with group activities. For example, at a party, at a concert, at a cinema, at a meeting. Entonces, con actividades grupales, también podemos utilizar at, at a meeting. So she's at a meeting. Uh, school, university. Con estas palabras, eh, usualmente utilizamos at, at school, at university, right? Home, and with the words home and work, at home and at work. Entonces, con estas dos palabras, recuerden ahí, at. And oh, we also use it with shops, también con tiendas, oh, at the bakery and at a cafe, right? Con tiendas. Eh, but shops that you already know, right? Let's see. Um, let's check the examples. So where is the cat, guys? Where is it? Where is the cat? At the door. At the door, right? <laughs> He's waiting for some food. How, how about the dog? Where is the dog? At the crosswalk? Mm -hmm. no? Mm, no. At the stairs. Uh -huh. At the top of the stairs. At the top of the stairs. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. At the top. At a party. At the party. Mm -hmm. So who can tell me what is Mario? At, at a party. At a party, right? And who was that? Who is at the bakers? They are. At the bakery. Mm -hmm. At the bakery? Yeah. Who's at the bakery? Bakery. So give me an idea. Who's at the bakery? So what could He's be your... At the end of the street. Uh -huh. Let's see, for example, Liliana is at the bakery. So what's your example, um, Karen? Uh, 
I say, where is the bakery? Uh -huh. Where is the bakery? It's at the end of the street. It's at the end of the street. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. So we're going to um, have a pose. This is going to be our first pose. And we're going to have, um, let's say, some exercises. Because later uh -huh. on, we continue with some other year sessions. So hold on, give me a second. I'm going to share the exercises that we're practicing right now. Okay, can you see it? Can you see it, guys? The preposition in? Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start um, learning a little bit uh, more about them, and we're going to have some exercises. Ian, but I'm going to need your help. Um, let's see. Sonia, please read the first one. In. In uh, these examples and these examples. In a room, in a shop. In a car, in the water, in a garden, in a tall, in the city center, in Brazil. Okay, important here. So notice that in this case, this boy is in an enclosed area, right? In an enclosed space. Está en un área cerrada, right? So when we talk about enclosed spaces, we use in, in a room, in a shop, in a car, in the water. Cuando algo está dentro de, de un espacio, ¿verdad? En un cuarto, en una tienda, en un car, dentro de un carro, o en el agua. Uh, when we talk about um, in, to, we refer to uh, places with boundaries. También hablamos de espacios con ciertos límites o fronteras. Por eso es que hacíamos el, el ejemplo de en un país, ¿verdad? En una ciudad, in Brazil, right? Acá no es que esté encerrado, sino que está dentro de ese país. In the city center, in a town, in a garden. Son espacios abiertos, pero que tienen de ciertas limitaciones o espacios delimitados. For example, you can also say in a forest or in a park. Pueden decir en un bosque, en un parque, porque son espacios delimitados. Um, they have their measurements, tienen sus medidas, right? Let's see, question one. Uh, Wilfredo, read the question. Where is David? In the kitchen, in the garden, in London. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Continue with the second example, Wilfredo. What is that? What is that box? In that box, in that code for? Mm -hmm. So Let's look at them. Know. They are possible. Uh -huh. uh, they are possible answer, uh, possible answer, or possible um, some possibilities that you have in order to make your questions. So where's the David? In the kitchen, in the garden, in London, right? So we we'll talk about an enclosed space, an open space, but with boundaries. Um, in London too. What's in that box? In that bag? In that cupboard? And it's a cajita, right? Continue, Wilfredo. Okay. Fraser works in a shop, in a bank, in a factory. Mm -hmm. I went for a swim in the river. In river, the pool, river. River. Okay. In the pool, in the sea. Mm -hmm. We also use in with the words, uh, with the rivers, uh, with the pool, and with the word sea, right? Sea. So in the sea. In the sea, in the river. For example, you you may say um, in a pool, right? <laughs> and um, I don't know, in a pool or in La Costa del Sol, for example. We talk about the uh, rivers or sea. Milan, continue, Wilfredo. Milan is in the north of Italy. Naples is in the south. South. I, mm -hmm. South. Okay. Uh -huh. In the north. I like of in, okay. mm -hmm. I like in the big city, in but I like to like in the country. 
Mm -hmm. So uh, I live in a big city. I live. I live. Mm -hmm. Yo vivo. I live in a big city, but I like to live in the country, right? So let's continue. We continue with at. So pay attention to the words, okay? Um, at, uh, please help me with these ones. Let's see, Cesar. Hi. Uh -huh. I live in the big city, but it'll no, like- this one, here, at. At. And in the bus stop. Continue, continue. At in the door. At in the traffic light. At in the hair desk. Okay, so be careful with these, Caesar. At the bus stop. Recuerda, aquí estamos utilizando la otra preposición. At. At the bus stop. Where uh, is the boy? Where is the boy? On the, on at the bus stop. At the bus stop. Bus. 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 At the bus stop. Where is the lady? At the, at the door. At the door. And where is uh, Wilfredo, for example? Where is the car? At the traffic light. Uh -huh. He's at the traffic lights. And where is, um, let's see, Maria? At her desk. At her desk, right? So it means that she's located at her desk. Esto quiere decir que Cuando yo quiero decir que yo estoy en mi escritorio, <ríe> yo voy a utilizar ad, ¿verdad? Pero no, para no confundir, ¿no, verdad? Con el on y con el, con el at. At, quiero decir que yo estoy enfrente de mi escritorio trabajando, right? She's at her desk. I'm at my desk, right? For example, another example could be I'm at the table. I'm at the table. Estoy en la mesa, esperando, ¿verdad? So I'm at the table waiting for you to come. Estoy esperando en la mesa. Ya sirvieron toda la comida. Estoy esperando que, que vengan los demás y se sienten. Because I'm hungry, right? I'm at the table. Let's see. Uh, continue, please. Um, Karen, there is somebody. There's somebody at the bus stop at the door. There, the car is waiting at the traffic lights. Jane is working at her desk. Uh, at the top of the page, uh, at the bottom of the page, mm -hmm. at the top, at the bottom, at the end of, right for, right. write your name, at the top of the page, my house is in, at the end of the street. Mm -hmm. So write, 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 write your name, uh -huh. write your name at the top of the page. Escriba su nombre en la parte superior de la página o al principio de la página. Uh -huh. in the my house is at the end of the street. No quiero mencionar, ¿verdad? Ah, mi casa está al final de la calle, al final del, del block, right? De la, la cuadra. Let's see. Let's continue. Um, Levanto mano capturas o notas. Yes. Ok. Y les pueden ir compartiendo también en el grupo. Okay, so let's continue with the next one. On. Please help me with this one. Um, let's see. Jessica. On. On a chair, on a bench, mm -hmm. on a balcony, on the floor, on a wall, on a wall, on a door, on the no sé cómo ceiling. Se ceiling. Ceiling. Mm -hmm. So this is a shelf. Uh, this one. We're talking about this one. This is the shelf, a plate where we don't have a plate. Balcony, I think you already know that, el balcón. On a wall, right? On a door, let's see, we don't have nothing on the door. On the ceiling, okay. For example, the projector is on the ceiling, right? On the ceiling. 
on the ceiling, in el cielo, right? Continue, Jessica, with the example. There are some books. There are some books on the shelf and some pictures on the wall. There are a lot of apples on those those three don't sit sit on the grass it's wet there is a stamp on the um, envelope envelope envelope, envelope. Okay. Mm -hmm. this one envelope so this is stamp and this is the envelope, el sobre, right? Envelope. Continue, continue, please. Yes. On a horse, on a bicycle, on a motorbike, where, who is that man on the motorbike? Motorbike. Mm -hmm. So on a horse, on a bicycle, on a motorbike, so we use on, right, for these um, vehicles. So who is the man on the motorbike? Question so far. Preguntas, chicos, hasta el momento with any of these prepositions. Sí, yo tengo una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Eh, on eh, este prefijo en qué opción se ocuparía en cuando hablamos de superficies también cuando hablamos de algunas palabras en específico pero on lo va a utilizar cuando hablamos de eh, siempre superficies acá superficies ah, ajá. Uh -huh. por ejemplo acá tenemos en el muro verdad en la pared so probably uh -huh. the air conditioner uh, the air conditioner is on a wall um, there is a poster on a door. Hay un poster or there is a picture on a door. Por ejemplo, hay una foto, una imagen, un poster. Eh, tenemos este otro ejemplo acá. El projector podría ser, o el, el, bueno, aquí no estoy muy segura si es air conditioner o projector. I think that's an air conditioner. It's on the ceiling. Está sobre el techo, en esta parte de acá, el cielo falso. Um, acá tenemos otra superficie. Por ejemplo, sobre el estante, sobre un plato, en, en el balcón, en el piso. Entonces, cuando hablamos de superficies, utilizamos on. Gracias. Ajá. También cuando hablamos de redes sociales, ¿verdad? On YouTube, on the radio, on TV. I watched a movie uh, yesterday on TV. Channel 6, Titanic. También tenemos acá um, con algunas palabras, ¿verdad? On a horse, on a bicycle, on a motorbike. Eso sería ahí una motocicleta, una bicicleta, eh, en un caballo. También podríamos hablar de aquí del césped, ¿verdad? Don't sit on the grass. No te sientes sobre la grama. Está húmeda, right? It's wet. Está mojado. There is a stamp on the envelope. Hay una estampilla sobre él. Sobre, right? Pero también les voy a proveer una, un cuadrito ahí para que ustedes tengan ahí este más resumido eso. Ok, so now let's continue with um, exercises. So give me the examples and use the correct preposition, ok? Number one. So what's the, give me a sentence. Give me a sentence using the correct preposition with the words in parentheses. Number the one. Uh -huh. The chef the is in the chef. kitchen. Uh -huh. The chef is in the kitchen. Number two. Somebody. Is in, is in, in a box. Is in, uh, in the box. The shoes is in the box. No, are in the box. Okay. The shoes are in the box. Perfect. Number three. The pen is on the box. Uh -huh. The pen is on the box. Number four. Uh -huh. 
The clock is on the wall. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So can you repeat the um, uh, exercise to the box? The shoes are in the box. In the box. The next one. The pen is on the box. In the box. Perfect. Four. The clock is on the wall. Is on the wall, right? So let's continue with the next one. Number five, Wilfredo, help us. Number five. So what's the preposition? Try to give me a sentence. The bus stop. Any idea, guys? Somebody? Wilfredo is at the bus stop. Mm -hmm. Wilfredo is at the bus stop. I'm sorry, I can hear off the microphone. Okay. The next one, number six, the horses. Or, where are the horses? Or on the field. So what do you think? The field, ah, the field is um, El Campo, let's say. Up to field. In the field. Mm -hmm. In the field. Okay, seven, the balcony. The guys are on the balcony. Okay, my friends are. So what's the preposition? The balcony, uh, at, right? At the balcony. At. The pool, eight. Mary is in the pool. Uh -huh. Mary is in the pool. Nice. Okay, number nine. Somebody help me. Number nine. So write your answers. The number nine. Uh-huh. The boy is on the window. The boy is? On the window. On the window. No, mm. or second, second floor. At mm. the window. At the window, or? On second floor. Mm -hmm. The boy is at the window. The window. Okay, um, 11. Oh, I mean, 10. The ceiling, the spider. The ceiling spider and the spider. Is on the ceiling. Uh -huh, the spider is on the ceiling. Okay, how about 11? He is on the table. He is? On the table. On the table. On the table. 12. She is on the... She is. Where is she? Where is she? She is... Um, is at the table. At the table, right? At the table, right? She's not on the table. He's on the table. She's at the table. Él sí está sobre la mesa. Ella no. She's uh, waiting for somebody, right? To eat. She's probably having a date. Um, let's see. So let's continue. 
Uh, where is he? In the kitchen. Where are the shoes? We already answered these questions. Okay. Okay, take a screenshot and later on I'm going to uh, send you the document. Well, that's not really necessary. We already answered. Okay, ese se lo voy a enviar. Just remember me that. So let's continue with the next exercise. Write in, at, or on. Don't sit on the grass. It's wet. See, next one. What have you got? Your bag. ¿Qué tienes? In your bag. Okay, in your bag. Volunteer, look, there's a man, the roof. What's he doing? So what do you think? Look, there's a man. Mira, hay un hombre, right? The roof. So what's on the, the roof? roof? On the roof, right? On the roof. On the roof. Hay un hombre en el techo. En el techo. Okay. There are a lot of fish. This river. At the river. In. At in this river. In, right? In. 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 Why? Please uh, read that one. Cesar, read the mm. sentence. Cesar, number five. On the door. Can you repeat the sentence? Read the full sentence. Okay, okay. Our, Our house. house is a number 45. The number is. Door. Um, on the door. On the door. On Where the door? is the number? On, right? On. on the door. Está pegado sobre la puerta. 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 Number six, Sonia. Is the bus office near her? Yes. To help in the traffic light. Okay, so what's the correct preposition? Yes, turn left. In? In the traffic lights, on the traffic lights, or at the traffic lights? At, at the traffic lights. Mm -hmm. Ah, the traffic lights. Seven, please help me with this one. Let's see, Virginia. It's difficult to park. So what do you think, guys? Somebody? It's difficult to park in the center of the town. Okay, in the center of the town. It's better, it's better to take the bus. Uh -huh. It's better to take the bus. My sister lives, where does she live? In Brussels. In Brussels. Perfect. Yeah. Number nine. Mirna, please. There's a small park. Mm. Hill. What's the meaning, hill? And no, no sé qué es hill. Hill, guys, somebody, no? Montañas, no, no colinas. La, col la colina, okay. Oh. There's a small park in. In. On. In. On, On the top of the hill. In. On. 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 Sure? Yes. In. In. So check it again. At the top. Okay. So what's the answer? There's a small park. At the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. At the top of the hill. At the top. Okay. Number 10. I think I hear the doorbell. There's somebody. Creo que escuché la, 
Y timbre. La doorbell. There is somebody. Hay alguien. On the door. On the door. Hmm. On the door. On the door. In 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 the door. At the door. <laughs> At the door because it's <laughs> Ajá, ya no puede estar dentro de la puerta, right? Tampoco podría estar sobre la puerta. <laughs> que ya la haya botado. At the door. Ajá. At the door, right? For specific points. Digamos que para puntos específicos. Uh, 11. Munich is a large city. Okay. So what do you think? In, on, or at? In. In. Okay, so let's check it again. So I think we have this one. In the north, in the south. Okay, uh, 12. There are a few shops. At the end of the street. Uh -huh. Hay algunas tiendas. Al final de la calle. 13. It's difficult to carry a lot of things. I look at the list of things. My name yeah. was on the board. 13. 13. 13. On a bicycle? On a bicycle. Okay. Wow. On a bicycle. I looked at the list of names. My name was? On the bottom. At the bottom. At, right? Mi nombre estaba al final. At, at the bottom. Um, how about 15? There is a mirror. Hay un espejo. On the wall. On the wall. In the living room. In the living room. Okay. Amazing. So let's continue. We have some more. Um, please, Wilfredo, help me with the examples using in. In the in hospital, in the sky, in the world, in a newspaper, in a book, in a photograph. In photograph, a photograph. 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 Okay. Picture. A picture. Picture. In picture. In a car, in a taxi, in the middle of. Okay, so let's check it again. In bed, in hospital. So with these words, you have to use in. Um, let me check it. In bed, in hospital, in the sky, in el cielo, in the world, in el mundo, in a newspaper, in a book, in a photograph, in a picture, in a car, in a taxi, in the middle of, en medio de. So let's read the examples, please. Uh, Mirna, help me with the example. Word skate. Uh, excuse me. Read the example. Ayúdame con los ejemplos. Where, where, hate, where, skate. She's in bed. David's father is ill. He's in hospital. I like to look at the stars in the sky, sky at night. What's the largest city in the world? I read about the accident in the newspaper. You look safe in this photograph. Did you come here in your car? There's a big tree in the middle of the garden. Okay, thank you. So notice that with these words, we have to use in, right? Where's Kate? She's in bed. Now understand Kate? In coma, right? She's probably uh, ill. Mm -hmm. David's father is ill. He's in hospital. I like to look at the stars in the sky at night. Sky, I like. Uh -huh, at night. Me gusta. 
Me gusta ver las estrellas en el cielo en la noche. What's the largest city in the world? Do you know this? What's the largest city in the world? Do you know? <laughs> ¿Quién sabe? Somebody? No? Okay, let's see the yeah. next one. Uh huh. No, excuse me. Pero okay. ¿qué hablas sobre qué distancia de la ciudad está tu trabajo? ¿No? Mm, no, ¿cuál es la ciudad más larga, más grande ah, okay. del mundo? Ajá, ¿cuál es la más grande? No, oh, okay. New York. New York. Oh. About uh, Wikipedia, Tokyo. Tokyo, ok. The largest city, la ciudad más grande del mundo. I read about the accident in the newspaper. You look sad in this photograph. Te miras triste en esta fotografía, right? Did you come here in your car? Viniste acá en tu carro? There's a big tree in the middle of the garden. Hay un gran árbol en medio del jardín, right? Okay, so let's continue. Uh, we continue investigating about at. And we also have some specific words with the preposition at or location, at home, at work, at school, at university, at college, at the station, at the airport, at Jane's house, at my sister's house, at the doctors, at the hairdressers, etc. Right? At a concert, at a party, at a football match. For example, like Karen, please read the questions. Will you be at home this evening? Where is Kay? She's at work. Helen is studying law at the university. I meet you at the station. Okay. Where were you yesterday? At my sister. I saw Tom at the doctor's. There weren't many people at the party. Mm, okay, thank you. Okay, so it's important to notice that in for this uh, preposition, we have some words that you have to use um, with at, right? So the same with in, you have some specific words that you have to use with in. Yeah, in this case, you have to memorize that. Así que aquí les toca. Aprender. <laughs> so, but um, take some screenshots, okay? In, um, for example, in this case, at Jane's house. So you can also talk about, you see, use at when you talk about somebody um, that is at a house. For example, at Jane's house, I'm at Karen's house. I'm at Wilfredo's house, at my sister's house. Somebody may ask you, where are you, Karen? Where are you, Karen? At my father's house. Perfect, at my father's house. Uh, you can also use, uh, for example, a shop at the hairdressers. So what could be another shop? At a bakery, for example. What are you, Wilfredo? Uh, my house. At? My house. At home, at home. Or you can mention a shop, right? Puede mencionar también una tienda, right? Uh, the hairdressers. Okay, um, can you read this, please? Um, let's see, Sonia, often. Often it is possible to use it in or at for bowling. Building. Hotel, e building, hotel, restaurant. We stay at, stay at a nice hotel or we stay in a nice hotel. Mm -hmm. So often it is possible to use in or at for buildings. So acá, we have an exception and you can use either in or at. Aquí podemos utilizar cualquiera de las dos, right? So we stay at a nice hotel for the location, para la ubicación. 
but we stay in, right? Inside of the building, right? In a nice hotel. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's continue with the wheels, right on. Uh, um, Caesar, please help us, Caesar. On, on, the, on the bus. On the continue, continue with the example. On the, <laughs> on the first floor. floor? Mm -hmm. On the way from uh, hey. A to B. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's check the chart. Um, continue, Caesar. Okay. On a on bus, on a train, on a plane, on a ship, on the ground floor, on the first floor, etc. On the way to, on the way home. Mm -hmm. So the remember, uh, we were talking. Uh, sorry, Caesar. Um, don't worry. Uh, remember, when we talk about means of transportation, uh, we talk about, uh, we use on, right? On a bus, on a train, on a plane, on a ship, right? On the okay. ground floor with the floors of a building, con los, con los pisos, right? On the ground floor, on the first floor, right? So for British people, on the first floor, it's the second floor. Para los británicos, el primer piso es, sería el segundo, right? Porque tenemos acá el ground floor, que sería la planta, eh, la primera planta, right? On the ground floor, on the first floor, para ellos sería el segundo. But for Americans, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that's the opposite, right? On okay. the way to, en camino a, so I'm, the, I'm on the way to. Your on, the, uh -huh. on the way home. Mm -hmm. The way home. En camino a. Casa. Camino a casa. Uh, let's read the questions, please. Caesar, continue. Did you come here on the in the bus? The office is on the first floor. First floor. First floor. Okay. First floor. No, in Not. the first floor. <laughs> floor. I meet in on the I'm way there. to work. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the way on the way okay so did you come here on the bus the office is on the first floor uh, not in the first floor right i met and on the way to work conocía en de camino a, al trabajo o de camino a casa Okay, exercise. So look at the pictures again and answer the questions. So let's check the questions. I didn't check the previous ones, but with this one, so where is she? In hospital, right? That's the first question. Question two, um, where are they? Question two, where are they? In the airport. In the airport, sure. What? Okay, so let's check I it know. again. So what do you have for this one? At, right? At. At. Uh-huh. At, right? They're at the airport. The airport. Uh, number three, what do you think about this picture? What is he? He is at the bed. In the bed. He, he is in the in, bed. In bed. He's in, in bed. bed. So this is probably you in the morning at about 7 a.m., right? A las, faltando cinco para las siete, la hora que va a entrar al trabajo. Cesar. <laughs> Cesar has that luck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> César, a las 7 de la mañana todavía está en el campo. Ok. About a four. Four. Um, what are they? Four. They are on, on a ship. On a ship. ship. Ok. On a ship. Parece que me iban a decir el Titanic. <laughs> Ok, let's see. Uh, five. <laughs> Gabriela, welcome. <laughs> welcome. 
<laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, uh, five, where are the stars? <laughs> five. Yeah, five. What are the stars? <laughs> um, oh, uh -huh. What is it, in, on, or at? On the sky. Uh -huh. Think about uh, think about it again. <laughs> Going to have a heart attack. <laughs> Why? The sky. Yeah. In, right? In. Karen, what do you think? Karen? In. Karen, hello? On. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> That's going on. Let's see. Sure. <laughs> okay, uh, so check it again. In, right? <laughs> ah, yes, in the sky. In the sky. In, right? In. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about number six? What are they? What are they? I think that's the question. At a party. They are a party. A party, At right? A party. Uh, where in uh, okay, so let me check the question seven. What is Steve? Seven, Steve, Steve uh, at, at the, the doctor's, doctor. at the doctor's, mm -hmm. at the doctor's office, right? So remember that you don't have to add the noun again. Recuerden que ahí no tienen que agregar otra vez el, el building. So he's at the doctor's. <laughs> Let's see, how about eight? Um, in the second at the second floor. Where is on? the restaurant? On the second. In the second. On the second floor. On on the second floor. Okay, are you taking the screenshot? So look at again. Floors yeah. on the ground floor and the first floor, right? How about nine? Where is she? Work. She at work. She's at work, right? She's at work. Okay. Ten. Uh, what is she? Mm -hmm. What are they? they? Are, uh -huh. What are they? They are um. On a plane. Perfect, Gabriela. Eleven. The same question. What are they? They are on a taxi. Think it. Uh, think about it again, please. They are on. They are on a taxi. On a taxi. <laughs> Wilfredo, what do you think? Cesar, Sonia, uh, Jessica, Luis, Omar. In, in a taxi. On a taxi, it stands for. Mm. Well, so let's check it again. So they're inside, right? I like it. Mm -hmm. North. Okay, so let's go back again. So I think that we check it. Okay. Again, in a car, in a taxi, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. In a taxi. In a taxi. Okay, and let's see, 12. Uh, where are they? They're at? Wedding. Uh huh. At uh, the wedding. Mm -hmm. Wedding, right? They're at a wedding. Okay, so we also have some more exercises here. And well, so please take a screenshot. Um, and you're going to work with this one. So I think you can deal with this. Okay, you ready? You have the screenshot? Yes, tell me. Hmm. 
Estamos en Okay, so you're going to work uh, with these exercises in the breakout rooms. So please uh, take the take the syringe. Eduardo and Martin, let's see. I'm going to send you the invitation again. Les envío la invitación nuevamente. Sí, por favor. Okay, thank you. Caesar. <laughs> I'm going to move Caesar. Great. Four Y teacher me está dando error, creo. Vamos a ver. Sí. Voy a intentar enviar nuevamente. Hello, Lynn. Hey, uh, sorry, hey, Wilfredo hey. and Sonia. How are you? Hi, teacher. Ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Porque oh. a concert. Es un grupo de actividades. Will you be on tomorrow after me? And... Um, At home, sir, yeah. At home, okay. Yes. Okay. Who is the man? In Who this. In this photo. Sería on. On this. Oh. Creo. Sí. Media, porque es un medio. Pero solo decía radio, TV, sino que iba a notar. <risa> Vamos a poner. On. On, va. on me dice, va a ser Omar. Sí, creo que es on. 
Sí, yo también pienso lo mismo. Ok, so let's check it. Uh, photograph. ¿A dónde está la de photograph? Number six. Number six. Who's the man on? No, it's in. No, it's in. In this photograph. In this photograph. In this photograph. Where are the children? Are they cool? At the school? Yes, in. So what do you use with uh, school? Are they? It's at. At, right? Okay. At the school. Are they at the school? Study is coming by brain. Sería in. Sí, en la dos, in. In. Luego, number three. What is the longest river? The word. ¿Cuál es el...? Río más largo del mundo. ¿Cuál es el río más largo del mundo? In the world. No, no creo que, no. No creo que sea eso. What's the longest river? Uh -huh, the word? At the word. At, no. In, in the word. In. Mm -hmm. in, in the word. word. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Gabriela, y les está escribiendo ahí. Hola. Las está escribiendo ahí. No sé si, no, quiero ver en la pantalla que estoy compartiendo, no sale, ¿verdad? No, no sale. Ay, qué... No, no sale. Es que descargue la imagen y la, y pone editarla. Para dejar de compartir, porque si la, si la pegué, pero en, otro, en otra página. Ok, entonces la respuesta se las mandamos a la teacher en, en el WhatsApp, solo que le ponemos el número y luego la respuesta. Ok. Yeah, in the world, uh, number four. Were there many people the concert last night? Concert. At the home. On. On. Porque está hablando de la noche. La noche. Oh, ¿y usted qué dice? Eh, César. Tiene que... ¿De qué hablamos? De la for. Tiene que ser. Were there many people at the concert last night? Last night? On. On the On. concert. I remember concert parties. Uh -huh. Concert party. At. Um. At. At. Mm -hmm. at the concert. At a party. Lugares uh, at where the many people at the concert last night. Last night. At, last night. Mm -hmm. um, 
Uh, will you will you be at home tomorrow afternoon? At Hello, hello, ladies, Mirna, Ileana. Hello. ¿Cómo vamos, chicas? La verdad, man. Que no copié nada y, y si me salgo del... Le voy a enviar este documento. Le voy a enviar vale, el documento. Gracias, ahorita. gracias. So hold on, give me a second. Permítame un segundo. Ya sé que se mandamos. Ok, ahí está. ¿Ya lo recibieron? No. Ya. Yeah. Ahorita sí. Ok. Gracias. Liana. Hello. Hello. Ah, no, la pantalla. Gracias. Ocho. Gary is coming to training. I am going to meet him. Guys, uh, I am going to. Eh, luego, where are your children? Are they at school? Gary is coming by train. I'm going to meet at the station. Charlie is in hospital. He had an operation yesterday. How many pages are there in this book? Because in, in a book. Are you hungry after your journey? No, I have something to eat on the train. I'm sorry, I'm late. My car's broken down on the way here. Is Tom here? No, he's at his brother. Don't believe everything you see in the newspaper. Y la última sería, I want to work, but I came home on the bus.
teacher. Yes, tell me. Did you finish? Sí, ya, pero... Mm, como preposiciones que tenemos que aprendernos cuál ocupar en, en cierto lugar, no hay una regla en sí. Hay algunas que ya están definidas, estandarizadas, por ejemplo, con los pisos, con los medios de transporte. Vamos ahí, eh, bueno, excepto el caso del train, del taxi. Um, vamos por el otro. Y el carro. Ajá, no, pero, o sea, depende, ahora si está dentro del carro, y no, ¿verdad? O si el carro está en un punto específico, así como pusimos el traffic lights, la de car is at the traffic lights. Entonces, sí, en algunos casos, sí. Por ejemplo, at school, at university, at the table. Vamos con el otro, eh, para las eh, eh, group activities, at the concert, at the party. Para el party. Sí, más que todo, eh, bueno, las que vimos, quizás serían clasificarlas con el chart, con los charts que vimos al inicio. Les voy a compartir okay. la imagen. Pero con algunas palabras, sí, tenemos que memorizarlas. Ok. okay. okay. I think that you're finished, right? Yes. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so let's continue, guys, uh, with these prepositions and look at this. Um, well, once that we have checked the um, uh, introduction for these prepositions, we have uh, some other usages. So now we talk about uh, places, address, addresses, and some uh, streets, right? Okay, ahora venimos con la segunda parte, que es la parte que aparece en el manual. So we're going to check it later, right? Um, and let's see, we go from general to specific in this context, in, on, and at. Let's see, uh, can you read this one? Uh, Wilfredo, please, in. Neighborhood, city, country, place with a bound, boundary. Okay, boundary. boundary. So that's clear, right? We were talking about general to specific, general places, neighborhoods, Cities, countries, and places with boundaries. Entonces, esto lo que veíamos anteriormente: ¿verdad? vecindarios, ciudades, países y lugares con ciertas delimitaciones. Um, let's see. On. Continue, Wilfredo, please. On. Street, street Avenue, Island, Large, Vehicle. Vehicles. Uh -huh. Okay. So we talk about that too. But we didn't mention the part of the streets and avenues. Entonces mencionamos esta parte de acá, surfaces and large vehicles, train, bus, and ship. But we didn't mention streets and avenues, Pennsylvania Avenue or islands. Entonces este sería otro uso para hablar de las calles y las avenidas. And we go to the last one, Wilfredo, at. At, under. Addresses. Uh, at Addresses, specific location, point. Mm -hmm. So we talk about addresses, the number of the house, and the, the name of the street and the avenue. 
right? Specific locations, home, the corner, or for some specific points. Entonces acá ya está un poco más generalizado todo lo que estuvimos viendo. So now we're going to aim at studying some um, addresses. Entonces ahora nos vamos a enfocar un poquito en las, en lo último que nos falta, en las eh, direcciones. So look at the following examples and provide some more. We have uh, the first one. Um, Karen, please read the first one. There is a hospital on the 25th Avenue. Mm -hmm. uh, continue, please. There is a mall on Juan Pablo Avenue. There is a restaurant on El Boquerón Street. There is a Walmart on Boulevard del Ejército. Okay, nice. So look at this. With um, In this case, when we talk about addresses, we need to add on plus what? Plus the name of the street. So can you give me some more examples? So think of a building. Pensemos en algún ejemplo. Let's say um, there is mall. Okay, there is a mall. Where on the center. Ah, uh, Nina. Uh -huh. What's the name of the avenue? And avenue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the example, right? There is a Walmart on Boulevard del Ejército. Okay, so in here you can add you can add the name of the street or the avenue. So that depends of that depends on the relevant information that we want to add, right? Aquí depende de lo más importante. ¿Qué es lo más importante eh, en ese lugar? Si es la avenida, si nos referimos a él como la avenida o, o el nombre de la calle, ¿verdad? Entonces avenida. va a depender de eso, que es lo que voy a utilizar. So there is a mall on um, Boulevard del Ejército. O oh, there is a mall on, so give me a name of a street. Ok, about Santa Elena. Santa Elena Street. I don't know the names of that street. Santa Elena. Uh -huh. Santa Elena Street. Santa Elena. Another one. For example, I work on, so where do you work? Where do you work? So do you know the name of the street? Um, on the Quetzal Street. Mm -hmm. Only. How do you say Colonia, teacher? Neighborhood? In the Central America neighborhood. Mm, do you work there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but with neighborhoods, we use in, right? Okay. Okay, so I work on Quetzal Street in Central America. Neighborhood. Central America neighborhood. Perfect. How about you? Um, let's see, Wilfredo, where do you work? I work in... Kilometro seven and metro. Okay, and what's the name of the street? ¿Cuál es el nombre de la calle? Calle de Oro. Calle de Oro. Gold Street. Okay, so say. Oro Street, right? Okay, another street. <laughs> I say another street. Okay. Kilometer 14, did you say? Kilometer, no, seven. Seven. Kilometer seven. Seven and half. Okay. Seven and half. Okay, nice. How about you, um, Cesar? Where do you work? Okay, um, Pan American Pan Americans Hero Pan Panamericana Hero Road, okay. Okay, um, uh, in summation, the place 
Ajá. Yes, in the in, in centro comercial. Metro centro. In metro centro, okay. In metro centro. Or, uh, well, that's up to you. He mentioned the uh, metro centro, but it could also be San Miguel, right? In yes. San Miguel, in metro centro, that's okay. So what I want you to notice is that in here you use on with the name of the street or the name of the avenue, right? Entonces acá utilizamos on con el nombre de la calle o el nombre de la avenida. Ahí depende cuál es el, um, el nivel de, de referencia o con el cual usted se refiere a ese lugar. Si es la avenida lo más importante o si es el, el, el nombre de la calle. El nivel de importancia. Así que ahí sí se tienen que definir, ¿verdad? Ok. Y la otra tenemos acá, solamente para concluir. So let's, I'm going to give you some examples. Um, I work at, so notice this. So we have at, preposition at, plus the number of, the number of the house, for example, plus. I work at Black Family Center. Mm -hmm. But look at this. We need a number. We need a number. Plus, what else? The name of the street, right? So you're being more specific. Entonces, en este caso, acá utilizaríamos el at cuando vamos a incorporar el, ya sea el número del edificio, del local, de la casa más el nombre de la calle. Son más específicos. Example, I work at 79. Let's say, Auto Street. So where are you talking about the, the place or the building? Estamos hablando del número, right? Let's see, um, examples. Karen, um, give me the number. <laughs> Mm. I work at 109. Mm -hmm. 109 Central America neighborhood. Okay. So, but the name of the street, what is the name of the street? The street Central America neighborhood. Central America. No, Quetzal Street. Uh -huh. Quetzal Street. In Centro America, Centro America neighborhood. Neighborhood. Okay, so that's the way how you um, mention your address. Entonces, así lo vamos a mencionar cuando incorporamos el número con at. Si solo mencionamos la calle o la avenida, sería on. Y pues ahí, como les mencionaba anteriormente, on. Ahí depende de la importancia, que es lo más importante, si es la avenida o es la calle. Cuando utilizamos on, cuando utilizamos at, sería el número más específico, el número más el nombre de la calle, y después pueden agregar, ¿verdad? El, de, ¿En qué lugar, verdad? En el vecindario, tal, en la colonia, tal. O pueden mencionar también el, eh, por ejemplo, la ciudad, ¿verdad? Ok, bien, nos vamos a ir quedando por acá. Solamente eh, pasamos la asistencia. Y recuerden también que pues no terminamos, pues se cierra el 30 la plataforma. Estuve verificando los ejercicios y me parece que ya estamos listos. Ya estamos listos para eso. Porque solamente te vienen hasta este, este domingo. Medianoche se cierra. Tratemos de terminarle, completarla. Si tiene actividades pendientes, ahí de ya después del 30 ya no tendremos más espacio. Y o el cuatro. El otro día. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta, chicos? Todo el color horchata. Ok, Mirna, Mena, creo que tiene una pregunta. Mira, diga. No, no, no. Escucha. Estamos color horchata nada más. Okay, so give me some seconds. So I need some to charge this. Okay. 
porque este, como les mostré anteriormente, los porcentajes de asistencia todavía nos hacen falta, ¿verdad? Nos hace falta para terminar de completar el, el porcentaje mínimo. Vamos, Eduardo Antonio Espina Mejía. Gabriela María Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you, Gaby. Um, Gerson Romel Vázquez Díaz. Ileana Estela Serrano de Candelario. Ileana. Here, coach. Thank you, Ileana. Be careful. Isaías Santana González. Present. Thank you, Isaías. Jessica Ivette Ileana Sarabia. Present. Thank you, Jessica. José Eduardo Valdez Martínez. Present. Thank you, Eduardo. Julio César Fabián Zelaya. Present, please. Thank you, Julio. Karen Leticia León Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you, Karen. Luis Alberto Cruz Monarca. Present. Thank you, Luis. María Elena González García. Mirna Janet Saldaña de Espinosa. Present. Thank you, Mirna. Omar Alexander Palacio Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Omar. Roque Antonio Jiménez Segura. Paula Jimena Cornejo Álvarez. Okay. Um, Sonia Marisela Tejada Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Sonia. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you, Virginia. Wilfredo Armando Rosales Torres. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, guys. I'm going to be sending you some information for you to study and, um, yes, some more exercises. But thank you so much for being today. Gracias, chicos, por haber estado en esta jornada. Nada más recordarles eso, ¿verdad? Traten de ponerse al día con la plataforma. Buscamos un espacio este fin de semana para terminar. Y pues ya de ahí solo nos quedamos pendientes con lo, las últimas sesiones. Ya casi estamos cerrando, pero sí nos falta, ¿verdad? Porque si no, algunos, si alguna vez faltaron, pues esto les va a complementar el porcentaje que necesitamos. No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta, chicos. No. No. Ok. Thank you, guys. So that's all for today. And, ok, if somebody has a question, please stay. Si alguien tiene una pregunta, por favor, quédese y la resolvemos, ¿ok? Thank you, guys. That's all for today. I'll see you on Monday. Monday, Monday right? I'll see you on Monday. Or tomorrow. No, Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Have a great night. Bye. 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 See you, Gabby. Good night. Yeah. See you. <laughs> Pero aquí estamos un ratito. Ok, thanks. Bien, veamos. Um, preguntas, chicos, chicas. Bien. Lo, lo último que estaba explicando con las direcciones que se usan. Sí. Eh, Vamos a ver. El on y el at. Ahorita vamos a proyectar nuevamente. Vaya, acá tenemos este ejemplo. Eh, veamos. Permítanme. Ok. There is a hospital on the 25th Avenue. Hay un hospital en la 25 Avenida. Eh, tenemos otro ejemplo. Hay un centro comercial en la Avenida Juan Pablo, ¿verdad? Juan Pablo II ahí. There is a restaurant on El Boquerón Street. Hay un restaurante en calle El Boquerón. Hay un Walmart en el Boulevard del Ejército. Entonces, el on, usted lo va a utilizar cuando solamente va a mencionar el nombre de la calle. Eso sería todo. Okay. Um, podría decir, vaya, aquí estoy hablando yo de cosas que hay, o edificios, o tiendas que hay. Pero sí. yo puedo decir, así como estamos viendo, el donde trabajo. I work on, porque yo quiero mencionar la dirección, ¿verdad? I work on, let's say, Panamericana Street. Ajá, trabajo en la calle Panamericana. Okay. Y puedo mencionar in, ¿verdad? Eh, puedo mencionar ahí el, eh, la ciudad, puedo mencionar 
el building, podría decir, en, vamos a ver qué hay en la Panamericana. El encuentro, el encuentro, el encuentro. Y puedo especificar en el centro comercial el encuentro, en el encuentro mall. Ahora, si queremos hacer el contraste con at, puedo decir I work at. Y ahora voy a ubicar el número del local, por ejemplo, o lugar donde yo trabajo o del edificio. Vamos a ver ahí, le vamos a poner el. Seven. Seven hundred seventy two Street. Entonces acá lo que pasa es que es más específico. Ubico el número de local o edificio o de casa, o de casa. Ajá, y, ubico, y ubico también el, el nombre de la calle. Entonces, como acá yo ya estoy dando una referencia más exacta, más específica, voy a utilizar ad. Aquí digamos que usted ya utiliza el número más el nombre de la calle. Entonces, ahí ya no es necesario que le ponga el on. Uh -huh, porque empezamos con el número. Um, veamos. I work at 8055. Las Mercedes Street podría ser otro ejemplo. Ah, es cuando es más específico y, y se te pone como el número. Ajá, es más específico porque ubicamos el, el número del número, el número del, del local o del building. Después ubicamos el número de la calle. Okay. Y el in es para referirse a. En general. general. En general. Ajá, I work in. Metro, por ejemplo. I work in San Miguel. Entonces. General. Ajá, recordemos que el in es para edificio, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, áreas abiertas o cerradas, pero con un límite. O áreas, eh, espacios cerrados. En el salón de clases. En, yo estoy en el salón de clases. I'm in the classroom. En, trabajo en Metro Centro, el centro comercial. I work, I work in. San Miguel también puede hablar de ciudades, puede hablar de, vamos, ¿qué más? ¿Cuál era otro ejemplo que veíamos? I work in. En El Salvador, por ejemplo. Estamos hablando ahí de ciudades, países, ah, colonias también. Voy a mencionar. Ajá, I work in. El Carmelo, Neighborhood, por ejemplo. Neighborhood. Entonces, cuando hablamos de áreas abiertas o cerradas, utilizamos in. Mm, okay. Podría decir, yo estoy en el parque. I am in the park. I am in the park. I am in the forest. Estoy en el bosque. Entonces, vemos ahí que son espacios abiertos, pero... Tienen una limitante, ¿verdad? Que son las, las extensiones o las medidas del, del terreno. También podría ser un espacio cerrado como el metrocentro, una oficina, un salón de clases. ¿Qué más? Un espacio cerrado. Y también hablábamos de los espacios 3D, ¿verdad? Como por ejemplo, dentro de una bolsa, de una mochila. Mi teléfono está en mi mochila. My cell phone is okay. in my backpack. Uh -huh. okay. Ajá. Eh, veamos, okay. Le voy a enviar la, la imagen para que ustedes lo puedan achicar. Y también cuando hablamos de lo mismo. Eh, ya en el caso de los departamentos, los municipios, el país o las colonias. In. In. Okay. Ya cuando nos referimos a, a las calles. Tenemos estas dos formas. O nada más con la, el nombre de la calle. Pero usted puede agregar más, ¿verdad? I work on Panamericana Street in, mire, mm -hmm. el encuentro mall. Estoy hablando del, ajá, del centro comercial. Okay. Um, y el at, ya más específico, cuando ubicamos un número antes del nombre de la calle. Y lo que les mencionaba de la referencia, ¿verdad? Eh, de lo más importante. Entonces, cuando usamos in, 
podemos decir? Um, no, perdón. On. Utilizamos on. I work on Panamericana Street. Y acá tienen una avenida. There is a mall on Juan Pablo II Avenue. Entonces, ¿qué podemos notar acá? Que acá hemos ubicado una avenida. No es una calle, ¿verdad? La Juan Pablo II. Entonces, el centro comercial que está ahí es Metrocentro. Lo que quiere decir acá es que usted ubica la avenida o ubica la calle, dependiendo qué es lo más importante, ¿verdad? Porque hay varias calles. Entonces, eh, o podría incluir ambas. Si está la calle y, está, y conoce el nombre de la avenida, los ubica también. Entonces, pero lo que va a poner primero puede ser lo más importante, como es conocido, ¿verdad? Derisa Molo, Juan Pablo Segundo Avenue Solamente que esa ya es una avenida Entonces ahí ya no tenemos nada que agregar Ah, okay. uh -huh. Thank you, teacher Ok, y Sonia Yo solo tenía una preguntita Chiquita Es uh -huh. del manual del estudiante Si sí, había que entregarlo todo También el día domingo el manual, no, el manual todavía tiene, tenemos más espacio. Lo que yo les recomiendo es que descarguen los documentos, porque uh -huh. si, no, si se archiva, en ese caso sí, descargue, descarguémoslo. Igual voy a tratar de descargarlos para enviárselos también, porque no sé si va a estar habilitado. Uh -huh. Ok, yo solo eso. <ríe> bueno, pero se quedó ahí en la realmente. Sí. <ríe> Gracias, Sonia. <ríe> Thank you, Buenas ladies. Noches. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a great weekend. Bye. Thank you, ladies.